everybody, Dave Snyder here. It is the 23rd night of July 2014. This is a reversed image of the lunar south pole, the south pole of the moon. It's a, I've taken this picture and I've flipped it over and overlaid this picture over Asia, the Asian continent, the whole Asian continent pretty much. This, this crater's name is Schrodinger. It's near the south lunar south pole. This is a reversed image, like I said, and this is over Asia. I did this overlay last night, real quick. I want you to take a look at how this fits. Make it full screen, sit back a little bit, and just take a look. Okay, check this out. Interesting. And do understand that this is a very softened image of the lunar south pole. As I'm sure it looks a lot sharper and more pro you know the more profiled than it or more detailed than it sh shows it here in the picture. But anyways, pay attention to where this is in Asia. This is you see Schrodinger is right right here in Asia. Let's go to Asia. That's this area right here. This is where the, it's showing that Schrodinger hits the Earth, right here. That crater, Lunar South Pole, right there, is showing it right here, right? Okay, so next, just just pay attention to where this spot is. Now, where's our magnetic North Pole head, heading to? Where is it now and where is it heading? Let's take a look. It's right here, right now, so they say. It's moved from here. To there in 10 years, they're saying 50 from here to there in 50 years. It's accelerating, all right. They say it's accelerating. So, if it took 10 years to get from here to here, you'd say there'd be another 10, and there'd be another 10, and there'd be another 10. You know, it's if it's if it continues to accelerate that, but look where it's heading. If this picture was complete, you see there's okay, there's that area of land we can go right there and look right there, it's heading. The, the exact same direction as it, the same spot. It's here now, and it crosses over. It's right here, about right here. It crosses this little spot right here, and heads straight. It's heading straight here, this exact direction to the same location. This will be the North Pole at one one point. This uh, this area of the moon is the strongest, most important area of the moon, the lunar south pole, as I've showed hundreds of times. As you will see this pattern all over the Earth all the time in the weather, on the land. I'm sure they hide it, but you can see it in the weather clearly every all the time. Okay, so that's showing it for sure that this. Is, it makes it perfectly logical. We, our magnetic north is heading to this spot, right? It's heading this direction. So when it hits here, when it gets to this spot, at one point in history, the moon, Schrodinger's crater, hit that spot during an impact. Magnetic north pole of the Earth was attracted to the magnetic south pole of the moon, and they collided. Opposite poles attract, right? Okay, we'll get this. At the south pole of the Earth, I saved this other image from the, that I I haven't even tried this yet. I'm just gotta I'm gonna just go play it by ear here. Or that's it's magnetic. I gotta find the picture first. Is that one? No. There's one. It's kind of like that one. We got one of the whole South Pole though. Find that one. Just give me a second. Apologize. It's not it. Damn it. Anyways, I just, uh, there it is. All right. So what we have here, I, I'm going to put this up here in the middle of the earth where I can stretch it out a little bit. Okay. 
So they're saying the magnetic no south pole is here from true south, 1,500 miles from true south. So it's right here. Well, let me just tell you this. The, one of the first times I've discovered Schrodinger fitting the Earth perfectly was right here. I got a video up about it, actually. It was right here in this spot, too. Right in this spot. There's a Schrodinger print right here. Shows it in the weather, and you can see the curve. It goes right here. It, it fits there, too. So maybe the poles don't reverse on the moon. They must only reverse on the Earth because it's alternating between this area, the South Pole, and the North Pole. Hit, Schrodinger's hit here, and it's hit up there in Asia. I mean, it just basically proves that the moon's hit the Earth, and it, that it will hit the Earth again, is what it shows me. Whether you understand that or not, but it's definitely heading... It's hit here before. I've seen it in the weather. And it's hit here before. Let's see the let's see where the opposite exact opposite of this location is. Go from here. Where the poles flip. So it's showing the opposite was right there. You see the bulge? We see the bulge in the ocean. That's see? Watch. Let me turn this stuff off. See that? So this side's the exit. See the bulge on the ocean floor? That's a that's uplift. Opposite, exactly opposite of that impact of Schrodinger on the opposite side of the Earth, opposite the North Pole, or will what will be the North Pole eventually. I hope you were able to follow that. Anyways, thought that was pretty important. Have a great night.